Have you guys ever come across a product where once you saw it, the simplistic elegance of it just made you go, why didn't I think of something like that? Well, Rogue Power Sports has done that exact thing with the introduction of the Rogue Power Screens. If this is your first time joining us here at Appalachian Mountain Riders, don't forget to hit that subscribe button before you leave. I upload a new video every Tuesdays and Thursdays, but have been known to upload bonus videos at random times throughout the week, so make sure you hit that notification bell so you never miss a new upload. Now there is one choice every side-by-side -side owner must make and that doesn't matter on what make or model side-by-side -side you own and that is to windshield or not to windshield. Now there really are three different options you can choose here. You can either go with a full windshield, a half windshield, or no windshield at all. And most people though choose to do some kind of hybrid like this where you can have a half windshield when you want it or you can fold it up and it gives you a full windshield as well. Now depending on whether you're going to go with a full windshield, no windshield at all, or some kind of hybrid, it really depends on your personal, personal preference, but each has its distinctive advantages and disadvantages. Now full windshields are hard to beat when it comes from protecting yourself from limbs and stuff that may be poking out into your trails. They definitely do an excellent job at keeping that kind of stuff from coming in and smacking you in the face. Case in point, these guys. And these guys. And these guys. And not only is a full windshield your best bet at keeping nature out, keeping the rain, the sleet, and the snow out, it's also going to be a, your best bet at keeping disgruntled neighbors from squirting you with a garden hose and getting you soaking wet. Well, although having a full windshield is good for protection, it does have one major drawback. And that's the amount of dust you get from the negative pressure that's caused by the air flowing over the windshield. And then the air from the back tries to rush in to fill that negative pressure and it brings all the dust with it. So anytime you're riding on a dusty dry trail with a full windshield and you don't have any kind of back windshield or screen on your machine, you're going to get plastered with dust. And of course, one final downside to full windshield is as you ride, they get dirty, they get muddy. The sun glares on them. It does make it hard to see. Of course, having no windshield gives you the best amount of ventilation to keep the dust at bay. It gives you the best visibility you can get, obviously, because there's nothing there to get dirty or to get marked up and glare. But keeping Mother Nature out? Not so much. Or bugs. And if you don't have a full windshield on, you definitely don't want to come across any disgruntled neighbors with a garden hose. Now what Rogue Power Sports has done here is taken the best of both a full windshield and no windshield at all and kind of combined them with their Bug Buster Power Screens. And what they've done is taken a tough nylon screen material that's going to withstand the impacts from tree branches and stuff you're going to run onto on the trail. That'll give you the protection of a full screen, but being that it is a mesh material, it's going to give you the airflow. So that's going to help eliminate that area of negative back pressure behind it that sucks all the dust right in to cover you. Now every Bug Buster power screen you order comes with a nice storage case for like say if you live in an area where you get colder climate in the winter and you like to run a full cab with a honest to goodness full windshield you have a place to store it and installation is simple easy toolless and it only takes about five minutes 
So the best way I found to tackle these is to go ahead and just loosely attach your top straps. That'll help hold it into place till you get the sides wrapped around and zipped. I'm going to do the same with the other side. And you see here is this actually has like a stretchy rubber that's zippered that's actually going to wrap around your roll cages. Now in order to keep the screen taut, it does take a little bit of muscle here because you want the screen to be nice and tight. So you got to you got to eat your Wheaties maybe a little bit in the morning, get some get some extra muscle on, although it's not actually that difficult. And just stretch the two halves around so you can get your zipper locked into place. Make sure it's all lined up well. And it's as easy as that. You can take your zipper here for around your grab bar. And again, here's a close up. These aren't your little cheap dollar store jacket zippers. These are big, heavy duty honking zippers. Man zipper. Which also means they're going to hold up to repetitive installing and uninstalling. Then we do the same for the other side. We don't have a grab bar on this side, so it's just a simple matter of wrap, insert, and zip. And once that attached, we're just going to cinch this up here at the top a little tighter. Now on your wider machines, that this is going to be stretched across pretty far. Rogue Power Sports includes a Velcro strip here that's self-adhesive. It's just going to stick to your dash. And then the middle of the screen is going to get Velcroed fast to that. So you don't have to worry about this thing flapping in and hitting you at greater speeds. And the installation is as easy as that. Now you do got to keep in mind that this is a mesh screen so if you go out riding in a rainstorm expecting it to keep you dry yeah you're still going to get wet but the good thing about it is is it is a tight enough knit that any big thick mud you're in splashing around it is going to stop that and the nice thing with that is any mud that collects on this instead of having to stop get out wipe it off so you can see it just takes some quick flicks here and it'll have that mud flung off so you can just keep right on riding. Now this is the end of November, so my riding time with these guys on is going to be very limited here. We're only going to have a couple more nice days left before the white, star, white stuff starts flying through the air. But come next year, I do have several events planned that I'm going to, including the 2018 Honda Pioneer Takeover at Ride Royal Blue and the East Coast Side-by-Side -side Summer Slam. So those, on top of any other shenanigans I may be getting into, I'm going to have lots of time to test these, put them through their paces, and see how well they hold up. So if you haven't already subscribed to my channel, make sure you do so. If you already have a Rogue Power Sports Bug Buster power screen on your machine, make sure to let me know in the comments below how you like it. And if you don't have one of these and want to check into getting one for your machine, I will leave a link in my description below for Rogue Power Sports web website so you can head on over there and see if they offer one for your machine. Until next time, it doesn't matter what you ride as long as you ride. So keep on riding. Mom ruined the shot! <laughs> I can blame that on the squeaky door.